Welcome to Venice. Just like to point out that I'm not going to get the two achievements for the uh, speedboats, one from jumping from the highest point possible and one from jumping to another while the other one blows up in the minefield. The achievement I'm going for is the um, beat the Venice level without getting on any speedboats. So I will put the two achievements for the speedboats at the end of the Venice level. All right, so once you have gotten the key from the guard above, you now want to go down back into the water then unlock the door. Once you do this, you will get ambushed by another guard that will hold your automatic pistols. And also, if you didn't notice already, enemies will now have items on them. So it is quite important to kill all the enemies just in case the, um, the pickups are related to them. So once you have encountered your new guy, that has the automatic pistols. Make sure you grab them. So normally this is where you want to do the speedboat achievements. But since I'm not doing that, I'm not going to show you until near the end. All right, so once you go through the newly unlocked door, before going straight on, you want to grab your silver dragon and your next flare pickup. Those will be five and six. Also, there is the achievement related um, that's for three levels. We can't get bit by any rats. So I'll try my best to locate them all and show you where to be careful. And now once we have jumped back into the water and follow the path. Now drop down into the next set of water and drop down directly into the water and go to the bottom. This will be your next pickup. And now go into the next area. So it will get kind of dark around here. But once you go through the small tunnel, look left and you'll see a singular pickup. That will be two pickups in one. Just remember, don't get bit by the rats. But since I'm going for the kills, I'm going to kill them anyway. So there's currently two rats here. And now be careful as well. Once you go across the other direction, there will be another. I think there's two more rats over here as well. So normally, if you have your speedboat, you will put your speedboat into this canal section here to the right. But since you're not doing that, we don't need to do that. Right, this next guy will hold your next pickup and then go before pressing that switch or after, go to the left side behind this locked door. You will find another pickup. Uh -huh. And now we're going to teleport now and go outside. So basically, once we have filled the water up, we swam underneath the door and this is where we be. This is the main area of Venice. So first things first, let's get three pickups. Go right and kill this guy with the pistol. He will drop, I believe, two shells and one large med pack. And now we're going to go back where we came from. This time we're going to continue on forward and go right and then climb up. Once again, there will be another guy or I think there's another two guys will hold two of your pickups. So there'll be a guy with a club. I, I believe he has a large med pack. The dogs don't collect even or don't drop anything. And then you'll find another guy as you proceed over the um, the bridgeway or the archway. That will hold another main objective key. Uh -huh. And now for your next two pickups, once you have inserted the key into the keyhole, drop down, activate this switch, as soon as you activate this switch, you'll get ambushed by another guard. He will hold two automatic pistol ammo. Uh -huh. Right, time to get two more. Now, as we're leaving, you will find another guard located on the right. So I believe you need the iron key to get in that door. But since I'm here, I'm going to grab this two drops as well. All right, time to speed things up. Go directly straight. And just keep heading straight. Eventually you will find there's two more of these boat things and then climb up the ledge. As soon as you climb up, the door should unlock automatically. Be careful, there'll be a henchman that comes out containing another pickup. So this will be a small med pack. Now, as you go in, be careful of the rats. Making sure you press the switch inside and then we can move on. 
Now once you press that switch, now we can move on. Now jump back into the water, this time take the left path and go left again. So that switch that you just pressed will unlock this door that we're swimming to. Also be warned, once you go up here, you will trigger an enemy to spawn. I do show you this as well. He doesn't hold nothing, but if you want to kill him for the uh, kill everyone achievement, then be my guest. Uh -huh. Once again, once you go into this area, you will find a main mission key. And then once you climb to the very top, you'll find another henchman with a dog. And once again, he will contain that pickup. All right, once you have that iron key, we go all the way back now to where we kill the previous headsman holding the two um, automatic pistol ammo. In this same room, you will find another henchman that will hold another item. Uh -huh. Just to be safe, make sure you press that switch in this room. And now time for the Jade Dragon. We're going to finish the level now, basically. So to get to the Jade Dragon, we have to go to the opposite side now of this level. Now before getting the dragon, we're going to get another singular pickup located in this room. So you'll find another henchman. So this should be your very last kill that you need to do. Once you kill him, make sure you pick up his ammo that he drops. All right, so now we've got, well, this, normally this, this will be time-based, but um, for this one, do not go over the ramp because the ramp is what triggers the door to close in a certain amount of time. So if you swim under it, naturally, you don't have to rush to the exit. All right, so before going to the exit, now walk up this ramp and you will get an achievement for jumping through a window. I didn't know there was an achievement for that. So I won't stick it as an achievement but i'll tell you now there's an achievement for jumping through a window without shooting it and now pick up the j statue and this will give you your last five pickups and now all we need to do now is go to the very end and finish the venice level without entering or getting on a speedboat Alright, so like I said, we're going to now replay the level, and now I'm going to show you how to get the um, the two achievements for the speedboat. So basically, once you have done all the objectives again, where you get the key, then you open the door to the speedboat. Now, if you position the boat in between, so the front of the window screen, or the windscreen, is just about touching the side of that ledge. And now we've got to make it back to the very top. There might be a glitch way to get up here faster, but I don't know that method. All right, so once you get back to this location again, so this location does open the door below. All right, make a manual save. And then th this did take me some a few tries because Lara just did not want to get in the boat, even though I lined it up fine. So as you just see, Lara was gonna glitch out, but she somehow glitched back in. So this will take you a few tries, but it's not too bad to get. All right, so once you get to the next area of Venice, you need to bring your other speedboat from the other location. Now, once you get around here, this one's, I found very easy. So once you uh, go, go down to the bottom here, you'll find another speedboat. All you need to do is jump out your previous speedboat, making sure that's gonna go into the minefield at full speed then jump out at the right time to jump into another. 